Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math for 30 Days. I'll be your host. My name is Jeremy Tinsley. I'm an adult educator for the last 20 years um, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I, I designed my ebook and created my website, pastgdmath.com. Again, go to my website. You'll see flashcards. You'll see all my videos that you, you can also go to YouTube too. But if you go to my website, you can see what, see all the videos. You can sign up for my GED Math Mondays where you can ask questions. Any questions that you need if you're having problems, GED Math Mondays. But today, what I'll be discussing is how to find a slope and an equation of the line from two points. Okay, this is guaranteed on your exam. Listen to what I'm telling you. This is guaranteed on your exam. They will ask you either what's the slope from two points or what is the equation of the line from two points. So let's get started. Okay, so on your screen, you'll see a question from the GED study guide uh, provided by GED.com. It's one of the best guides to use, to have you prepared. So go to their website and download uh, the GED study guide for mathematics. Okay. What is the equation of the line that passes through the point minus three minus two and one comma six? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this uh, by hand, but I'm also going to show you how to use the calculator. Okay, so first of all, what you have to recognize is what's given. They are giving you two points. So this is your first point. This is your second point. Each point has an ordered pair, okay? They give you an X value and a Y. So because this is the first point, I'm gonna call this X1, I'm gonna call this Y1. Since this is the second point, I'm calling this X2 and Y2. Very easy. Now, if you go to your formula sheet, now if you're not familiar with the formula, I will show you what it is. M equal Y2 minus Y1, over x2 minus x1. And all we're going to do is substitute. So our slope is y2, which is 6, minus y1 is a minus 2. x2 is 1, minus, remember that minus in between those two values comes from the formula, not from the sign of the number. That's why if you notice, I always enclose the y or x coordinate in parentheses if it's negative. x1 is negative 3, so again, I put it in parentheses. So I won't get confused between the subtraction sign of the formula. Now, you should know two negatives make a positive, so this becomes 6 plus 2. This becomes 1 plus 3, and that is equal to 8 over 4, which is 2. So our slope for this for the equation of the line that passes through minus three, minus two, and one comma six is two, okay? Now, how would you, listen, I don't want you making mistakes. So all you have to be able to do is identify the two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. And then what I'm about to show you is we're about to do it right on the calculator. Let me open up the calculator or calculator. <laughs> so, all right, let me clear the screen. Or let me erase some of this so we can get this done fairly quick. Okay, so we know the formula. We know our two points. So our points, actually, I don't remember the two points. So let me get them too quick and then we'll erase everything else. Our points are um, minus three, minus two, and one comma six. Okay, let's open up the kit. Let's erase everything else except for the formula. I'm going to move this formula down to the bottom so when we open up the calculator, we can see everything clearly. Put this right here, put this right here. Okay. So I'm going to open up the calculator now. Now I don't now what I'm saying is if you know how to do it manually, that's fine. But so you won't make mistakes, I'm going to show you how to use it using the calculator. So we're going to hit ND. Y2 is six. We're going to hit the subtraction sign. So that's for the subtraction in the formula. Now 
y2 is minus two. So in parentheses, and we're gonna use the negative next to enter to put that minus two in. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. One, x2 is one. We're gonna use subtraction sign, because that's from the formula, and then minus three. We use the negative sign next to enter, hit our right arrow. We don't have to do anything. It does it for us. Let me save it. So our slope is two. Okay, very good. Let me clear the screen. Let me minimize. Now, but they don't want just the slope. In this question, they're asking for the equation. So what do we know? We know we have two points and now we know our slope is two. So we're going to plug it into our slope intercept form, y equal mx plus b. If you missed my video on how to uh, um, um, write an equation given the slope and a point, I'm about to show you again. So this is just review if you didn't see that video already. Now, I like to use positive numbers, so I'm going to use this point here. So my y is 6. My slope is 2. My x is 1 from my point plus b. 6 equal 2 plus b. In order to get b by itself, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. 6 minus 2 is 4. Bring down my equal. My 2s cancel, and b is equal to 4. So my b is equal to 4. My slope is equal to 2. That means my equation is y equal 2x plus 4. Because remember, y equal mx plus b. So instead of m, we're going to put the 2. Instead of the b, we're going to put the plus 4. So y equal 2x plus 4. That's how you solve the slope given two points or an equation of a line given two points, which is a guaranteed problem on your GED exam. So um, how are you going to thank me? You're going to like my videos, you're going to subscribe to my channel, and you're going to leave me a comment. So when you get this problem right on your exam, you can say, listen, GED math in 30 days help me. So make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment. Wait for the end of this video. Make sure um, you notice that in the toggle bar, you can skip through the video for each section that you want. Or in the description, you can click on each chapter. But at the end of this video, I'll have a discount code to purchase my ebook, again, which is a fast uh, uh, way to use the calculator to solve some of the most difficult problems on the GED exam in less than one minute. So the 20% discount is waiting for you at the end. I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good night.